In today's video, I'll be sharing how I set up my iPhone 12 Pro Max into this aesthetic home screen. Step number one is to gather your photos for your wallpaper, log screen, and your widgets. I use Pinterest to find all my pictures, which I'll be showing you right over here. And okay, so on Pinterest, I'll usually look up things depending on my aesthetic vibe, which I choose a very neutral beige vibe. So aesthetic, oops, aesthetic. So as you can see, there's tons of pictures that you can find. Here are the photos that I decided to gather up. These are the pictures that I decided to use. Your camera roll look should look something like this, depending on your aesthetic. It's not going to look like mine, but here's what my camera roll looked like after saving everything I needed. Now let's move on to step two. Now step two are shortcuts. Shortcuts are definitely the most time-consuming part of setting up your phone, but it's definitely worth it because it looks so nice at the end. But my biggest pet peeve when using shortcuts is when the apps use the shortcut apps to open the app, which takes such a long time and has a lag. So I found this tutorial, which I will link down in the description below because it was so helpful. It shows how you're able to open up apps like this without any shortcut um, in between. So when it comes to shortcuts, you want to find icons. Now these icons, you can find them individually through Pinterest or different apps. But for me, I found it easiest to buy a icons like image file through Etsy. Now on Etsy, they have so many different kind of icons with different aesthetics and this is the one I decided to purchase which I'll show you and it was only five dollars which for me I feel like time is money and this definitely saves so much time just having all these icons so this is the exact one I purchased I got it for four dollars and 28 cents to be exact so it comes with over 22,000 different icons which is so helpful and it's the neutral icon pack after purchasing my icons through Etsy, I received the email to download all my icons in like 5 minutes which after I download is when I decided to start creating all my shortcuts. Now I'll be showing you guys how I set up my shortcuts. Now if this ever gets confusing, I definitely recommend watching the tutorial I linked in my descriptions after watching this video because it definitely goes through more details than what I'm about to explain but I'll try my best. Before creating a shortcut, you need an app. So for example, I'll be using Amazon because I have not created an icon for that yet. So let me move this to a home screen. Okay. Now I have the Amazon app downloaded right over here. So after you do that, I'm gonna go to shortcuts. And now with shortcuts, I have an icon themer. I got this icon themer shortcut from the video that I have linked in the description, but in order to save your time, I will be linking the link to the shortcut in my descriptions. Now, the first thing I did was press the icon themer, which it pops out and choose an option to start theming. Now, because the Amazon app is from the app store, I'll be clicking search in app store, which then pop will pop up a search bar which I will type in Amazon and then now all these things will come up now I'm gonna be choosing the first one because that's the app that I downloaded from the App Store and then instead of default icon or any of these if you already have the pictures downloaded then you're gonna pick choose from photos but I mine are all of my files so now from my files I'm gonna type in Amazon and I have all my Amazon icons now I'm gonna pick this one and click done and create my icons and click done and once this is done you're gonna have to save it and once this saves you want to say allow and then after allow you want to click continue when you click continue it'll bring you to your settings and afterwards you want to install it after you install it everything should be perfectly fine And now your app with the shortcut is right over there and now that you have your decorated icon you want to get rid of the current icon by removing the app and putting it to your home screen now doing this will put your app into your app library so all the extra apps that you don't want to put icons for and you don't want on your home screen you can just put into your app library where you still have access to it but it's just not shown 
So for example, now that I have my Amazon icon on my home screen, I don't need the actual Amazon app, which is why I put the app in my Apple library. Now, the third step is widgets widgets are actually very simple now all you have to do is download widgetsmith and with widgetsmith they really do everything for you now one thing you can do is press the screen and press plus and when it says smart widgets you can go scroll down and find widgetsmith so when you find widgetsmith there's three different sizes you can put and for this example i'll put widgetsmith and so i just put a medium widget smith on my screen in order to customize this you go to widget smith and on the app you can actually customize different ones and different photos and different text and you can save all these different widget smiths which as you can see i have a calendar i have a lot of images that i just have randomly and quotes that i don't know just cheers me up during the day now I love the calendar feature for the widgetsmith because it just shows what date it is. And then also having pictures just to decorate and space everything out, I just find so helpful and nice and reminders. So as you can see, I use widgets for a couple of different reasons. One is for the time, the calendar, pictures, and my favorite widget is the reminder app widget. For the reminder app, I use it for my homework for school which was very helpful because every time I use a different app I pass by this reminder widget reminding myself that I have homework to do and the to do reminder I have a large widget for that where I can see what tasks I need to do throughout the day if you want your iPhone to be tidy and organized I definitely recommend using the app library and folders now for the folders you can group all the apps that are in the same categories whether it's for school or games or photo editing etc and for the app library any app you don't use too frequently that you don't need on your home screen you can just remove them and it gives you an option to delete them or put in the app library putting in the app library is really helpful in saving space on your home screen and making everything look put together must have apps on your iphone now if you're like me and you like photos and recording or you're in school then keep watching because i'll be sharing apps you need for those three categories so the first category photography pictures photos the first app i definitely recommend is lens buddy lens buddy is an app that's like an advanced self timer so for me i like to take pictures by myself anywhere and everywhere but if i don't have someone to take it for me Using the self timer and walking back and forth just wastes so much time. But with this app, once you set it up and have Lens Buddy up, you could just use the timer and it'll take multiple pictures in a certain amount of time. So, Lens Buddy will be your personal photographer basically when you're alone. Now, two editing apps that I definitely recommend is Snapseed and Lightroom. I think Snapseed is the best app to touch up your photos, and Lightroom is the best app to color and filter your pictures. Now when it comes to Visco, their filters are cute but sometimes they can look tacky and you can't do as much as you can do with Lightroom. So Lightroom and Snapseed are the two photography apps that I definitely recommend. The next app is Pixar. Pixar is what I use to edit my thumbnails but you can also get really creative and really have fun with the app. You could add photos, add stickers, blur backgrounds, add backgrounds. There's just so many different things you could do with Pixar. So that's another app I definitely recommend. Now the next app is Fonto. With Fonto, you can add text to any images and you can download different kind of fonts. So you can kind of get creative too with this app. Now the last app I recommend for this photos category is Canva. Canva is seriously the best app to create content for your social media. Whether it's for your Instagram stories or just like posts, you can get decorative and it really allows you to do whatever you want on the app and has countless of such cute templates that you can use. So I definitely recommend Canva. Now for video, I use InShot for my video editing. That's the only video editing that I've been using and I swear by because even with the watermark, you're able to remove it by just clicking remove it once and you could always remove the watermark this way. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything on the app is very simple and just like whatever you see, it does. So I just recommend InShot when it comes to editing your videos on your phone. Now for school. I don't know why there's such a big difference between the Google Calendar and Apple Calendar and maybe for people it might be the same but I think Google Calendar changes lives like my Google Calendar is 
always packed with things I need to do, even like to do tests, homeworks, like classes. It just is so helpful. And for school, I also recommend just downloading all the Google apps. I don't know about you, but for my school, we use Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, just Google everything. So having these apps on your phone can sometimes save your butt when you need to do your homework last minute or when you're not at home and you don't have your computer, you just need to do it on the go. These apps will definitely come in handy, so I definitely recommend downloading it and either putting it in the app library or having it in a school folder because they will help you out greatly. Now that's it for today and thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps a little and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Now that I'm on winter break and finals are over, I will definitely be trying to post more so subscribe down below to keep updated and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon!